Hi everybody and welcome to episode one of the Golf Clash History series here on the BK Golf Clash YouTube channel. In this video we're going to look at the very earliest years of the game of Golf Clash. Now you may not have played the game back in 2016 or 2017 but you may well be interested in the early years and what it looked like then. Please give me a thumb up on the video and make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Let's begin this little trip down memory lane and look back at how Golf Clash first looked and first began. We begin our story on 31st of August 2016. Now, can you remember what you were doing back then? I certainly can't. However, a Facebook page was created for the game under the title of Golf King. And as you can see in that screenshot there, it didn't change its name to Golf Clash until the 8th of November 2016. Now, during those weeks, there were some teasers online and they began on the 12th of September 2016, drumming up interest of this new game to launch. And there we can see now on the screen the first ever original Golf Clash logo. Does anybody remember that one with a bit of the white and the sky blue gradient looking a little bit different nowadays? I'm sure you will agree. Then, not long after that, we had the uh, promotion ramping up for the first kind of beta version available November 2016. And there you can see one of the early trailers for the game. Look at those old emojis there. Bit of Meadow Castle, bit of Namhae Cliffs by the look of it as well. And uh, what looks like a very primitive layout. But back then, of course, brand new. Little bit of a trailer for the clubs that you could upgrade and unlock, making yourself a few hole-in-ones and, of course, avoiding the bunkers. Who will triumph in Golf Clash was the tagline for the video trailer. Now, we all know about weekly leagues now, of course, but they weren't there to begin with. They didn't arrive until December 2016, and then it was only Rookie 1, 2, and 3, but that's when they first launched in the game. And don't forget, actually... You may be interested to know that you couldn't play Golf Clash everywhere in the world. It was initially only made available to certain countries. Just before Christmas 2016, call it an early Christmas present. That is when what we now know as the basic set of free-to-play balls, Marlins, your Titans, Katanas, Kingmakers, they arrived in the game. So they weren't there from day one, but it wasn't too many weeks or indeed months before they launched. So just before Christmas... That is when that lovely set of free-to-play balls, and of course they're still in the game today, that is when they first debuted in Golf Clash. Now, how about this for a bit of a flashback? The early days of the Oasis. This is hole number three. Just look at how this first looked in the game. Definitely not playing that shot nowadays, but that's how it all used to look like back when the Oasis came into the game. That was, of course, 2017. Now, Professional 2 Weekly League also arriving in 2017. 50% more club cards in every chest for those that were rising up Weekly League very, very early on in the game. And we had the worldwide launch there of the game. Every territory, 17th of January 2017 was when you could play Golf Clash, regardless of the territory you were in. Of course, we think nothing of the replays being stored in the game, but it wasn't always the case. Also happening in January 2017, you then had the ability to save your own brilliant shots in the game. A little bit of an outage following on from that, though, and the reward there, the little compensation. Look at that, 25 free kingmakers. It was uh, definitely paid to be around at that time. Now, in early February... Playdemic sold to Warner Brothers, and that was TT Games, part of the Warner Brothers umbrella. Now, at that time, the Playdemic titles had been downloaded more than 50 million times. So very exciting times there. February 2017 sold to TT Games and Warner Brothers. Expert Weekly League number one arrived on Valentine's Day for those that were loving their gameplay and conquering all the levels of pro. And quite a big change there following on from that, opponents getting the same wins. You might be interested to know. In the early days of Golf Clash, that was not always the case. However, that was changed, and you were always then going to get a similar wind angle to your opponent in 1v1 gameplay. 
Now, on March the 17th, the teasers began, hyping up the first ever tournament in the game of Golf Clash. That was called the US Champions Tournament. More details on that coming up, including the holes that were used. It was quite a tricky one, really, looking back. Now, did you play in the first ever tournament? Remember to let me know. Now, if you did, you had a choice of three levels. You could enter Casual, Challenger or Master Level. Entry was by uh, way of Weekly League, so you can see there you could be uh, entering those three levels depending what Weekly League you were in. And then, of course, the prizes on screen now. Nice mix of club cards. There were kingmakers in every level as well. That tournament began on 3rd of April 2017. It was a full nine of the Southern Pines. And back then, you had to pay per match. But they were reduced fairly soon in. Those match fees were reduced by 50%. So after that, it was 5,000 coins for the first level 50k for the middle and 500,000 coins per game up in Master. Here we can see that very first tournament course, the flyover on display right now. That was Southern Pines, of course, still in the game now and still with those punishing and fairly long par fives. So I don't think this was by any means an easy introduction to tournament play. Very tricky course, a lot of distance to get your way round as well. And if you want some actual footage of uh, some of that tournament play in action, you can see it on this little iPad right now. Look at that, we had uh, little tee boxes with the hole number on there as well. Uh, they're definitely not there now. And you can see this is of course Southern Pines. One of the par threes looks a little bit different nowadays. And of course, not everybody is gonna be playing this par three with the big dog however you've got to remember there wouldn't have been anything like the ring system at this early stage everybody would have been playing by feel nobody would really have been dialing in with wind apps it was very much a play by feel game did you take part in it did you do well in the u.s champions tournament great for players to have an alternative to 1v1 tour play but like i said Definitely a tough event to start with in the history of Golf Clash tournaments. Don't forget to check out the other episodes in this series. Complete your knowledge of the history of Golf Clash and leave me a comment in the video description down below if you remember some of this video and what your recollections are from your earliest days playing the game. See you soon. Bye for now.